This module is about the four-factor model. This four-factor model is also called the Carhartt's four-factor model. And to understand this model, we need to link this model with the previous three-factor model that we have learned in the last module. And that is called the Farmer and French three-factor model. If you remember, in that Farmer and French three-factor model, we talked about two new variables in addition to the market risk. And that is the size factor and also the value factor. In this four-factor model, which is the Carhartt's four-factor model, we talk about another variable and that is called the momentum variable. Momentum is actually about the prices of stocks going up or the prices going down, which actually creates the return on a particular stock and also the risk on that stock. We have discussed it earlier too that the risk is proportional to return. So whenever we use these terms, risk and return, these are directly proportional. So interchangeably we use these terms. Now let's have a look. What do we mean by this term momentum? Here we consider the stocks or the shares whose prices are going up. We call them winner. So winners are simply the stocks which are gaining in the stock market. And against those winners, there are losers, the stocks whose prices are going down. So we construct a variable by the name of momentum by taking the difference between winners and losers. We also refer them to ups and downs. So up minus down or winners minus losers is the momentum variable. And Carhartt actually gave this theory, this model which was then implemented and it was seen that by including this fourth factor of momentum, there is a better explanation of the return on the stocks. Now, let's see the definition of this fourth factor, which is momentum. It states that the tendency for a stock price to continue rising if it is going up and to continue declining if it is going down is what is called momentum. In the stock market, it is considered, it is assumed, which is based on the findings and results of the price movement, then when a stock price starts moving up, it gets a momentum. And as a result, it keeps on going up, up to a certain level, where that momentum is then broken and the stock price starts falling down. And whenever a stock price starts falling down, it doesn't stop immediately. And as a result, what happens that a momentum is again there, which, because of which the price continues to fall down. Now, this momentum of prices going up or down, meaning the stocks getting uh, going up and coming down in terms of their prices, which are termed as winners or losers, create this variable of momentum. Now, let's have a look at the equation of Carhartt's four factor model. If you recall, we have talked about the first three factors in detail. The first factor, which is that of the capital asset pricing model, that is CAPM, and that is the risk premium, market risk premium, which is the difference of the market rate of return and the risk free rate of return. And that is then multiplied by the beta value, which in this model is the first beta or beta 1. In this three-factor model, we have got 
a size factor which is small minus big variable that is constructed and then we have got beta 2 multiplied by that and then we have got high minus low that is high value stocks minus low value stocks and we discussed that here high value means high book to market value and low book to market value and now we have added the fourth variable which is the addition or the contribution of Carhartt in this model and as I have just said addition of this variable has actually improved uh, the returns definition meaning that adding ups minus downs or winners minus losers variable actually provides a better explanation of the return on investment. So, concluding our discussion on this Carhartt's four factor model, we can say that when Pharma and French introduced two additional models, two additional variables, that is size and value, we got a better explanation of return than the CAPM. Those two variables combined with the market risk factor explain the return of investor in a better way. And when Carhartt's fourth factor that is momentum was added it actually provided even a better explanation so we can say that the carhartt's four factor model is a model that gives that explains the return of the investor better than pharma and french